Our principals are ready, our teachers are ready, our students are ready, we're ready, we're ready. I can't wait. For New York City Schools Chancellor Misha Porter, the return to the classroom is a milestone, one she's worked hard for since taking over in March. She says masks will be required in the classroom. Almost every room has at least two air purifiers, and all school staff must be vaccinated. Despite all of that, there are a lot of nervous parents. How do you reassure them that it is safe to send their kids back to school? First, I'm sending my own kid back to school into a New York City public school, and so I know parents are nervous. I think what's important is where we agree, and we all agree that the best learning happens in person between students and teachers. And we have done the work to get our buildings safe, to get them ready, so that we can do what's most important for children. It's a fulfillment of a promise from Mayor Bill de Blasio, who told CBS News in March he wanted every student back in class by September. Now, Meg, do I think there's going to be parents and kids who are not ready even in September? Yes, of course. Do we have to have a remote option for them? Yes, we do. But some parents aren't satisfied with the city's current remote option, like Jennifer Goddard. Her 10-year-old son, August, isn't old enough for the vaccine. And while he has asthma and other underlying conditions, she says he doesn't automatically qualify for the city's medically fragile exemption and can't stay home. To force people back into these situations is, it's an abomination. Once he's vaccinated, it is a game changer, right? And he will be the first kid in line. I just don't understand the rush and the force. Goddard says she's terrified after seeing COVID cases close schools and fill pediatric ICUs across the South. At the end of August, U.S. pediatric COVID cases hit an all-time high. How do you prevent that from happening in the nation's largest school district? Continue to follow the health and safety protocols. I am confident that we're ready, that we won't have the closures that we're seeing in other states because of where we are with our vaccination rates. How much pressure do you feel to get this right? We have to get it right. There's no option.